Good morning, guys. It's Roast here uh, with another New World Guide. Today, I want to talk to you all about gems, um, or gemstones, whatever you want to call them, because they're used in a lot of different ways in New World. Um, in summary, I'm going to tell you about what they are, what kinds there are, uh, what gems should you use, how you can use the gems, or how you can acquire them as well, um, can you make money, or how to make money in the gems, and then a good route for getting gems and the ones that I use when I go to farm them. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe uh, so you see more of these videos. I make a lot of guides for New World and other games. And if you guys comment what I missed or what things you want to see in the next guide, that helps me figure that out and make the next videos better. With that said, let's get into the guide, starting with what are gems? Gems are these little small boosts that you can slot into weapons or make jewelry out of. Um, the hooks also can be slotted into armor. Each gem has a different perk depending on what kind it is and what tier it is. There's different tiers and there's different kinds. Um, and with that said, I'll kind of segue into what kinds there are. Uh, I'm going to put up a list on the screen now. Just a big text thing that says what all of them do. Each gem has different kinds of buffs. Um, when Typically, when it's on your armor, it'll give you damage reduction from a certain kind, say physical or elemental. Um, and then when you're on, they're on your weapon, they'll give you damage of a certain kind or a little, a neat buff. So like the diamonds, instead of giving like elemental damage, they say, uh, you get extra damage and healing when you're at full HP. And then you don't actually see it here, but of the different kinds of gems, there's different tiers. So the first one is cut flawed gems. The green one is just the cut gem. So cut ruby, cut moonstone, cut sapphire. The next one is cut brilliant gem so cut brilliant onyx cut brilliant amethyst and then the final tier is going to be cut pristine gems and these are very expensive to make but yeah that's the four tiers now i'm going to talk about some of the bugs that are affecting gems because they actually make a pretty big difference in what the gem's supposed to do um so the 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 three bugs that i'm aware of are jasper gems amber gems onyx gems and, and a fourth bug actually is I've heard rumors of int gems in general being bugged, and so let's let's talk about those. The Jasper gem, what's bugged about it is that, our, oh sorry, that's Jasper. This is Jasper. Uh, that retaliate perk you see for the armor, where it says plus six percent damage after receiving three hits. Apparently, it doesn't work. Um. Anyways, yeah, the Jasper gem is bugged on weapons where it doesn't give you extra DPS. It's supposed to. Um, the Amber gem, I don't have one on me, but uh, it's supposed to make your other weapons scale with focus, like. If you put it on your hatchet, your hatchet will scale a focus, which is your uh, the life the life staff stat for healing, and apparently just, that just doesn't work. And then the onyx gem is super busted in that. Um, do I have any? I don't. The onyx gem is supposed to give you um, just physical resistance. I should be able to show you here. Yeah, onyx gem. The onyx gem when you cut it gives you some percentage of physical damage absorption and apparently it's just giving that for all damage it's bugged and it's giving it for all damage which is a huge deal because that makes it the best gem for defense automatically because there's no there's no caveats there's no physical and elemental it's just all damage which makes it super busted um until they fix it uh, once they do fix it diamond and uh opal will probably be the go-to's are a mix of diamond opal and onyx since they will split your damage reduction, uh, but we'll just have to see. What gems should you be using? Are you a tank? Are you a ranged DPS? Are you melee DPS? Are you a healer? Um, so I think what I would say is that if you're a tank, and honestly, anybody, if you are in, if you are in anybody in New World right now, you need to be using Onyx on your armor, and that's because the armor gems are just for giving you absorption of a certain kind, and Onyx gives you absorption from everything. Period. Uh, until they fix it. Now, once they fix it, it will depend on the content you're doing. So, if you're doing a lot of PvP content and you are a tank, you'll probably want Opal. And this is because uh, in in New World, P World PvP, uh, like the big ones like Wars and such, um, most of the damage you'll tank as melee or as a tank will be elemental from their backline, their fire mages and their ice gauntlet users, those guys are going to do most of the damage to you. So either opal or ruby would be best, or probably aquamarine as well. 
Um, but yeah, those three are probably going to be best for like tankier looking people. Um, if you are a backline person, you'll probably want to stick with Onyx because you won't be dealing with the mages. You'll be dealing with their great axe users who are trying to rush you down and kill you so you can't help contest the point. When we talk about weapon gems, uh, there's actually a lot more, let's say, adjustability here um, to some extent. If you're doing PvE content as a tank, it has to be the cut or the the Carnelian gem. You don't actually get a choice, which is kind of sad, um, because it it just changes how it just makes you be able to taunt, and it increases your threat generation, which is your entire job as a tank. So yeah, if you're tanking in PvE content, you have to have Carnelian. The sad thing is, outside of PvE content, a Carnelian is kind of useless. Um, if you're a tank uh, running, I think Opal, yeah, Opal gives you extra damage, but your stamina is not full. That's not too bad. Um, Onyx is pretty decent for fire mages. Anyone looking to burst, because if if you're a fire mage, you a lot of them. If you're especially if you're hitting squishy targets, you can deal half of someone HP with the first shot, and so if you can deal twenty five percent more of that damage, that's a pretty huge increase. Um, Healers will want to run diamonds because it increases your damage and healing when you're at full health, and typically healers are going to be sitting in the back at full HP. Diamonds also not a bad pick for your backline fire mages and stuff because most of the time you shouldn't be taking much damage, and if you do, you can back up, heal, and then get this diamond proc back up and going. Um, the rest of these are kind of meh, like all of the the uh, the elemental scalings. They're all right. But they're nothing crazy. Uh, Moonstone's also worth looking at, but probably not as good. Um, that just gives you a bonus damage when the player, your target is below 30% HP. But I think the other ones kind of outperform that, to be honest. But yeah, most of these other ones are going to be meh. The Malachite is an interesting choice for someone who is going to be, if you're like a hammer user in wars, hammer and probably sword and shield. So this is for your tanks, really. On your weapon, you can put cruel, and that will give you extra damage against enemies who are crowd controlled. And since that's your main job, you can put the, that gem on there. But it, since you're a tank, it won't really matter too much because you don't have any damage anyways. Yeah, sorry. We don't do any damage. It's a rough life. Tanks feel kind of useless in PvP. It's whatever. It's whatever. My, I'm not I'm not bothered at all. Not, not at all. It's fine. But yeah, that's what I think you should use based on your different class. If you don't know how to use your gems, you have to get them. You have to go mine them or buy them off the market, the base form. Um, and then using wisps or moats or uh, essences or quintessences, depending on which tier of gem you're making or cutting. Um, you'll go to your stone cutting station, you'll take your base gem, you'll take your moat or wisp or whatever, and you'll take your solvent, and you'll craft it. Um, and that's it. Once you've crafted the cut gem or bought the cut gem, you can just kind of take it and let's say... Uh, what do I want to put on this weapon? I'll go ahead and just put a uh, gambit. Here, we'll use Gambit on this guy, and that will boost. So you'll see now my targets are crowd controlled, and that hatchet, I'll get 6% more damage. Hooray! <laughs> um, if you have a gem already slotted in a weapon or armor, you cannot remove it, which kind of sucks. So like this onyx, it's there forever. What I can do, you should be able to drag the gem over to whatever weapons or items you want to put it on, and if it's already got something slotted and you put it in there, it will just replace it. But I can put this in here into finishing, and yeah, so attaching the new gem will destroy the current one. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually remove the gem. All you can do is replace the gem. There's no removal. I know in some games I've played, you can remove at a cost, but in this one, no, it's just, you take it out, it's gone. RIP to that gem. Hope it wasn't good. And that's so, like, while if you have, like, good Onyx gems, you'll want to make sure you don't, like, accidentally get rid of them. But yeah, so talking about, um, gather... Did I miss a message? Okay, I didn't. Uh... Talking about gathering gems, or acquiring gems, the two ways you can do it are you go to your trade post, and you look, and you say, okay, I want uh, gems. Give me gems. And you can get them raw or refined. Um, their price is going to depend on what tier they are. Like here, cut amber is 10 gold. And if I look into raw resources, th the question I don't know is, you might be able to make more off of gems before you cut them. Because, so this one at least, they're crazy expensive, but that might just be because this place has really not got a lot of market going on. Um, but the thing is, if you buy uncut gems, you can use them to level your stone cutting, which lets you get to cutting the highest tier gems in the game um, uh, at Pristine or Brilliant. Right now, Brilliant's most of what, what most people are running, um, but Pristine is the end game of gems. Uh, but if you buy a 
cut gem, you can immediately use it in jewelry or in your armor. So I don't know which one's more valuable as of yet, uh, but yeah, those are both options. Um, and if you're looking to gather them yourself, let me get a, uh, another tab pulled up. Or actually, I'll probably just overlay it on the screen uh, right now. But the route that I go, I'll show you on the map first. So right now, I use silver and gold. I can't really use platinum yet because we don't have a high enough uh, jewel crafting station. But I'm up here in Brightwood right now. But when I want to go farm gems, I go down to Cutlass Keys. And you, you port to the city. And you just kind of run along this beach. Or it's not really a beach, but this mountain line. And you just kind of run down. Let's get out of the way. You run down this way, and then you finish right around here. Um, but I'll show you the the map, or I'll overlay the map of what that run actually looks like in terms of silver and gold nodes. And I'll link that map website that has a bunch of different uh, locations on it as well. So you guys can plan your own routes or follow that one better than this rough uh, showing that I just gave you. But yeah, that's where I go. Um, obviously, uh, when I do that, I've got my loot luck trophies, or my mining luck trophies in my house. And I, I will always have like a proficiency booster and I'll be wearing mining gear, like uh, these pants, for example, that help me get more gems. When you're looking to harvest gems, the silver, gold, and platinum nodes are the ones that seem to drop the most. Iron star metal and orichalcum don't seem to drop as many gems. I think they may still can, but I think the chance is a little bit lower. Using your luck gear and your luck trophies and, and your boosters and your foods, there there is actually, I thought I had some on me, but I guess I don't. There is a food that you can eat, that you can make at the kitchen, or you can buy from the market, um, the trade skill foods. So uh, down here, is it cabbages? No, it's the potatoes. So the herb roasted potatoes give you 1400 luck. Um, there is a better tier that you can get from a recipe or from the market, but I can't make that, so I, I don't care to make it. Um, but yeah, if you use that and then your luck gear, that'll maximize your chances of getting uh, the, these different gems from the nodes. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can just buy them off the market if you have the gold. Don't sweat it too much. Uh, but yeah, if you want to make money with gems, you can absolutely go mine them and then sell them on the market. The gems that are in high demand can make a good bit of money, uh, whether it be for leveling, the jewel crafting, or um, getting that person just good stats. I don't know. But yeah, that's the best way to get, make money off them, is just go harvest the gems and sell them. You'll end up with a lot of extra silver, um, and potentially iron and gold as well, depending on what you harvest for them. But it's a, it's a pretty decent way to make money, and that, that route that I showed you uh, in Cutlass Keys is a pretty solid one. Like, when I mine that, if I can carry enough things, I can leave that with over 1.5k gold and silver or each. That's all I've got for the this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything I missed with gems, go ahead and comment. Like, if they fix the bugs for Onyx, Jasper, or Amber, drop it in the comments so everybody knows. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch. I stream three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 7 to 11 p.m. And, uh, yeah, with all that said, keep it beefy, boys. I'll see you guys next time. Hello there. Oh, no.